Hi, I'm Olga, and in this video, we'll look at how you can track activity. Now, Clockify offers you multiple ways to see who works on what, where, and for how long. So let's take a look at all of them now. When you go to the Dashboard tab, you will get an instant overview of track activities during the week. You can navigate to previous weeks here, or change the time period to see a specific day, month, or year. You can also switch between billability and project view. The billability view gives you a comparison between track billable and track unbillable activities, while the project view shows you the total track time for each recorded project. You can also switch between your personal and team dashboard view. In your personal dashboard, you will have an overview of your most tracked activities. If you choose the team view, you will see the activity table showing you the latest recorded activity, who has their timer running at the moment, and the total tracked hours of each team member. Whenever you hover over a chart, you will see more details on the display data. On the billability view, you will see the percentage of billable and unbillable hours compared to the total hours. And in the project view, you will see the percentage each project contributed to the total tracked hours. Active team timers can also be visible on the calendar page, where you can filter out which team member's calendar you want to see and check if they're currently active. Next, we have the Locations tab, where you can see active users tracking time on their mobile. You can navigate to Other Days, see their last active time, see their locations on a map, and replay their daily routes. GPS tracking is optional and can be turned off. You can also reference what you and your team have been working on throughout the day by looking at your screenshots. If enabled, Clockify Desktop app will take screenshots every five minutes while you have your timer running. All users can see and control their personal screenshots, and admins can see and control everyone's. If you delete your personal screenshot, the time between the previous and current screenshot will be subtracted from its time entry. Screenshots are optional and can be turned off. If you forget or don't like having to start and stop the timer all the time, you can enable Auto Tracker in the Desktop app. In the Desktop app, click on the A button to open the Auto Tracker. Click Start Recording, and the Auto Tracker will start picking up your activity on a web browser and different apps, providing you with start and end times, total duration, and how much of the time you've been inactive. The graph up here shows you how productive you were and how much time was recorded. If you switch between apps a lot, there will be gaps. But you can decrease auto tracker sensitivity here in the settings and change the minimum length of time needed for an activity to be recorded. You can also include and exclude visited URLs and choose to hide the items after you've added them as time entries. All the recorded data is completely private, visible only to you on that particular computer and automatically deleted after some time. To save the data, you have to add them to Clockify as time entries. You can do that for individual records by clicking on the plus sign or by selecting multiple records and then either add them all in bulk or merge and add them all as a single entry. Clockify lets you lock timesheets past a certain date, so no further changes can be made. If you need track data in real time, you can enable force timers so only the timer mode can be used. Alternatively, you can enable audit log and track all changes made to time entries. Audit log shows you each action that occurred on a particular day, like who started a timer, who deleted an entry, and so on. Plus, you can expand to get more details here. You can filter the report here if you're searching for something in particular. And lastly, the report section gives you the most detailed insight into user activity. 
You can break down activity by user, data, and description in summary report, get a timesheet-like overview in weekly report, and edit and add time for others in detailed report. In case you want to see who has their timer on at the moment, you can run the attendance report and see a red dot next to the active users. Here you can also see users' daily start and end times, break in work time, daily capacity, overtime hours, and if they have time off that day. To learn more about reports and other Clockify features, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.